This is a cross rib beef roast. The cross rib roast is an affordable cut compared to other cuts, but you have to be careful. If you don't cook it right, it can be pretty tough. So today we're gonna show you how to cook it, how to make it tender, moist, flavorful, and beautiful. The cross rib comes from the shoulder area of the cow. It is definitely good cooked, rare, medium rare, or medium. I wouldn't go to well cooked, it will get a little tough. If you like tough meat, go for it. Today we're gonna aim for about medium, medium rare. Doesn't take too long. Couple little tricks to make it extra flavorful and how to cook it to keep it tender. Let's go. A few ingredients that we're gonna add today. We're going to coat the outside with balsamic vinegar just for a little lift in flavor and color. Really helps. Salt and pepper, of course. I like to add a little cumin. Cumin grows, cumin grows on cows, they have to shave it off. And some cumin, I love cumin with beef, it really enhances that flavor. Little bit of powdered thyme, and a little secret weapon here, a stock cube. Chicken or beef is fine, you won't be able to tell the difference. Just the stock cubes you buy from the store. We're gonna put some oil with the stock cube, break it down, add some crushed garlic and the other ingredients to go over the outside. It goes into the oven, it's as easy as that. There's the crushed garlic. I'm gonna use half of this stock cube. I don't need the whole thing. So we'll just cut it in half. We'll use the smaller part, put it into our little dish here. Let's put in the cumin. Enough for a good flavor. A little bit of thyme, powdered thyme. and some freshly ground black pepper. It's already smelling great. So we're gonna break this down, make it into a paste with some oil. I'm using peanut oil, any oil's fine. I wouldn't use olive oil, it just, it smokes too quickly, but any standard oil, cooking oil, vegetable oil is good. You're gonna flavor it up here. So the idea here is to break down that stock cube. This one's a little dry, so it's gonna absorb the oil, and I'm just gonna push down on it and you can see that it breaks down and makes a wonderful paste right here with all of the other ingredients. And that's it. So there's lots of salt in the stock cube, so I'm gonna be careful uh, salting the outside, although uh, beef does need quite a lot of salt to bring that flavor and stabilize everything nicely there. So we're just gonna take the balsamic vinegar and literally drizzle some on the top and just rub it all over the piece of meat. Beautiful, smells superb. All over, easy as that. And then we'll make sure this paste is mixed up nicely. And same thing, just rub it over the piece of meat. I know how this is gonna taste, so I'm pretty excited. We're ready for the oven. Here's the plan. The oven is at 450 degrees, pretty warm, but we're only gonna put this in for about 15 or 20 minutes at 450. After that, we're gonna back the After that, we're gonna After that, we're gonna lower the temperature to 350 until it's cooked. When is it cooked? When the internal temperature is how you like your meat. So 140, 145 degrees is going to be more rare. 150 or so is of course medium rare, about 160 for medium. That's where I would stop and it will work if you check that temperature. It's worth investing a couple of dollars uh, in one of these cheap thermometers for these kinds of dishes. So 450, 350 until it's done. It's going to be beautiful. I have a cast iron pan in the oven heating up. So I put it in cold and then left it in the oven, which is now at 450. So the pan is at 450. And when I drop this in, we're gonna get that nice sizzle that's gonna crisp up the bottom of this piece of meat. So I'm gonna lift this out of the way so I can bring my pan over and let's see how we do. There's our hot pan. 
we'll just take our piece of meat right in the middle. Oh, wow. That is the sound of happiness. And already the kitchen is filling with beautiful aromas from that rub. Let's get it into the oven. And here it is. It was about one hour and 15 minutes in the oven. 15 minutes at 450 and an hour at 350. I checked the temperature, it came to about 155 or so, and then I let this rest for 20 minutes. I'm expecting it to be medium rare to medium when we cut in, but we won't know till we cut that. These traditionally have some string holding them together, so don't forget to remove the string, of course, before carving, and don't serve the string. now is to carve and eat and let's see I'm going to carve this it's a little difficult because it's a narrow piece of meat but I want to carve down this way this is the fat side all of the fat is nicely rendered up here so we should be good to just carve away it's a little uneven so I'm going to take this piece on the side first it will give us an idea oh that's beautifully cooked all the way through let's see as we go into this how we're doing on our doneness. There we go, barely medium rare. And there it is, juicy, flavorful, and ready to eat, in my opinion. This is a nice thick piece to try. Of course, the idea here is it's gonna be a meal. You're gonna put your favorite vegetables with it. Maybe some horseradish, something to really pump it up. I like English mustard, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna taste it as it is. Let's put it on a plate so that it looks good. There it is. Let's see how we did, as always. Let's look where the fat side has ended up. It's this side. That gives some extra flavor. I can tell already this is cutting through very, very easily. Looks good. <laughs> mm. You bite through the coating and get all that rush of flavor. And then inside is the most beefy, traditional roast beef flavor. My dog Scooter agrees and he's ready to try some too. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, help my dogs out. As always, you are always welcome in the kitchen. Come back and see us next time.